Good morning, this is Kelly Hobart from Alpaca Direct and I'm here on Technique Tuesday and I have a lovely hat that I've been working on and so I wanted to share it with you. It is called the Capital Hat and it's by Von Henterstein and we have a link for this one, right? Do you see right here in the picture? It's a lovely hat. What it is, is it's a picture of the Capitol building. And I think she made it in celebration of our right to vote, which was totally cool. And I love how you can use knitting to actually um, mimic the portrait of the Capitol building. <laughs> and it was super simple. All it has is right twist, left twist, and a wrap three. And the wrap three made these nice little columns. Here's my finished hat here. And I use Juniper Moon Tenzing, which is yarn that is no longer being produced. Um, Juniper Moon uh, has discontinued that yarn. But I was trying to use yarn out of my stash because it's always nice to make Christmas gifts and have use up yarn that you are storing in your uh, little container. So what's a good yarn that would be good? If they um, I'm, I'm really thinking that this regular Bravo, because the stitch pattern for the capital hat has a five stitch repeat, which is gives you a lot of flexibility. Like you could use it for, um, you could use chunky weight yarns, worsted weight, uh, DK weight, any weight basically, um, because that five stitch repeat really does give you some flexibility. Some patterns, they have like a 24 stitch repeat or something like that. And then it's a little harder because try to get those in between sizes when you have to either add or subtract 24 stitches can make it so it's a little difficult to use some yarns. But I was thinking this Bravo alpaca would be great for that hat because of course, I love alpaca hats. Um, it's one of the warmest fibers in the world and it's so soft and cozy. It makes beautiful hats. So I thought this would be a good yarn to use for our prize for this week. And so every week we do a contest and how you win or you get entered to win is you post comments in the comment section. Let us know where you're from, what you're working on. And if you're working on a particular pattern, don't forget to put the name in the pattern in there because I get so excited about looking at your projects and then I too can make it or maybe another um, knitter that's watching could make it if she enjoys it. So, Hey Kelly, we got, remember the film we just got, we just put it on the site. We got a whole bunch of new yarn. Yes, we got a color. bunch more um, yarn in, in the Bravo and the Bravo Petites and the alpaca yarn is just wonderful to work with. It's made in Peru and it's very top quality. It's so soft. I love it. So for this last week, we had some Zauber Ball Crazy and this one was called our indigo pattern and this was the winner for last week and you could see how pretty that is and I thought maybe that this would be the a great ha uh, yarn to use for the Alaska hat which is nice sky color right? and we're shipping that <laughs> out this week we were a little behind on that we got the winner we found out the winner and we just shipping out a little bit oh so awesome yeah so don't worry about that um I don't have it listed down here um the winner but you will get your yarn and Jim is going to get that in the mail. Jim was out of town and he has been working very hard to get caught up. So any of you that have had um, to wait for a response from Jim, that's probably why, because he hasn't been here. And so, but he's been working really hard to get caught up. And I'm telling you, he works. Well, let's see. I think he went to bed at one o'clock last night or something like that. Part of it is he has a hard time going to sleep. But the other part is that he just works. He's very diligent and works very hard, which I appreciate because he makes our home life lovely. <laughs> I mean, um, you, you should know. ask if anyone's yeah. been a member of his Rome. We own to Rome, the Vatican. Isn't that, that be cool beautiful? Though. I just thought this hat was so much fun. And I really enjoyed making it. And you can see if it's when it's stretched, you can see the picture of the Capitol building. The only thing on this hat when I made it was that um, if you can look really close in the picture here, see right here where the picture is, her um, ear is kind of showing. So it's a little short from the um, bottom to the top. So the only thing I needed to do was in this column part up here, I doubled the amount of rounds that I did for the column part. And you can't tell, it still looks beautiful. It just adds a little height to your hat. So if you want your hat to actually cover up your ears, that's a great way to do it. Another place that I added a little depth 
was right in here with the regular ribbing before I did the fancy stitches in here. I just added like four or six rows in there too. Um, what you can do is to tell how many rows you need is you can kind of get the hang, um, look in your closet, look at a hat that you like and see what the dimensions are from the bottom of the brim to the top. And then just leave yourself about another inch for the decreases for the top of the hat. And then you can just knit it up that high, remembering to put a little extra length here. Or you could also put an extra length in the ribbing. Oh, also, when I did my ribbing, <laughs> it called for regular ribbing. But, of course, I used the provisional cast on and made my um, ribbing double thick. And I really liked a double thick. Uh, brims. It actually just added a, another little dimension to the hat that made it even more cute. <laughs> and you know how I am. I like to change everything if I can. I mean, well, I, I, except for the basic pattern because I love her design of how she did it. And I thought it was really cool to be able to make a, um, a hat in celebration of our right to vote. I thought that was pretty cool. And I thought it would be a great gift. So what are the and stitches so, you're showing today on, on the hat? So, sure, um, on the, I mean on the hat, you can just show them maybe. Yes, the stitches that we have on the hat today were a right twist, a left twist, and a wrap three. So if you look here, we have the wraps, all these little column things here, these little nubby things are wrap three. And then um, in the tops where you see the, uh, almost like the windows, um, that's the right and left twist. Isn't it cool? It, and it's so easy to do. So if you, this is actually like TV watching material. It's so fantastic. And once you get the size that you like, but I would also um, recommend, you know, like I always do is, um, and this is also a paid for pattern and you're going to offer a link for it, right, Jim? Yeah, Meg will post a link to it. Yes, uh, Meg will post a, a link to it. And, um, but I would um, suggest that you go ahead and try and read the comments from other knitters so that you get an idea of how many stitches to cast on and um, how high you want, how many more repeats of the certain column patterns and we'll an actual rib stitch. Okay. Yes, so that you can get it the right height. So it actually, well, maybe some people like a shorter hat where their ears are showing. Um, and, um, that's great. If you like that, then you'll be good to go. Otherwise, you could add a little um, length to it, make it longer so it covers your ears. Whatever. If you're like me and you're cold, you need that broom to cover your ears. <laughs> you got several people from yeah. the East Coast. I saw Alaska, Wyoming. Yay! Congratulations. It's so nice to have you here with me. I'm so proud and happy to have you here and uh, listening. And I love learning along with you. So if you post comments in the comment section, I do take a look at those. So I can learn from you too, because there's some fantastic knitters I know out there. And like, for instance, this wonderful um, designer, and I'll show you again her hat pattern. I love that we can take the time and get designers from all over the world and Ha learn the different skills from them and get different kinds of designs. It's so fantastic. It's just such a treat for me. I'm always looking for things to do. So I'm going to come over here and we're going to just take a look at that wrap three. We're going to take a look at the right and left twist and we'll see how this is done. It is super easy. I have started here. This was my sample that I used. I kind of repurposed it from last week and it has a little bit of fisherman's rib on the bottom. If you're not familiar with that, um, the fisherman's rib, that's what it looks like. So I'm just going to knit one, slip one, and then I will go ahead and I'm just going to knit three stitches so I can get over to where I'm going to do right here. If you see really close, this is a wrap and that is a wrap. So when they say wrap three, and in her actual pattern, she doesn't actually knit the stitches after she's done. What she does is she holds the working yarn in back, and then you would go ahead and slip the stitches and bring that around front and bring your working yarn to the back. You see that? Oops, I got to grab a little more yarn. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> my yarn I didn't have enough yarn so when you're making these wraps it's always nice to go ahead and not pull it too tight um, but you want to pull it about the same tension so that all of your little columns kind of match each other if you do it loose on one and tight on another it's going to look 
like it's loose on one and tight on another. And it, it won't be as uniform looking. And of course, we're always striving to be, I mean, you know, within reason, we want to be as uh, perfect as we can be. And then with these wraps, do know that if you only want to wrap it twice, you could wrap it twice. On mine, I wrapped it three times. And I just thought that it gave me a nice, uh, full looking column. So after I get done with the third, there I am with that wrap stitch. And you could, if you wanted to, you could tighten it up and just tighten everything up a little bit, or you can leave it loose, whatever strikes your fancy. Um, what I would say, whatever you do in the beginning, do that all the way through your whole pattern. So if you wanted it like that, you could have it like that. And this one, see how this one's just a little bit tight. Maybe I would loosen that one up a little bit. There. Doesn't that look nice? So then we're going to go ahead and knit a few stitches away from that. And then we will see what we're doing here. And if you look at my little sheet that I have here, we are looking at this. At first of all, if we look at these two, those are right twists. And then if we look at these two right here, they go to the left. So when you do a left twist, you would simply slip two stitches as if you're going to knit them, but you're not actually going to knit them. You're going to slip them one at a time as if to knit. What that does is it twists the stitches. Now you're going to stick them back on your left hand needle. And then what you're going to do is with, you're going to knit into the back of that second stitch. And then you are going to knit two together through the back loop to complete it. Once you're done with that, you just simply remove those two stitches off that left hand needle. So let's do that, get three more stitches and try that one again. So you can just see how easy it is. So if you wanted to create this beautiful capital hat, you can make it and know that it is not as difficult as it looks. She'd use some very easy, to follow stitches. So here I am, I slip those two, put them back on the left hand needle, knit into the second stitch through the, and if you have troubles getting into that second stitch, just take your, your index finger and your thumb on your left hand and give it a pull. Pull it a little bit so you open up the bottom of that stitch. And then knit two together through the back loop. Okay, then we hold it up so they can see it. One second, sweetie. And then I take it off. And that is how you do that left twist. Now let's take a look and see the right twist. The right twist, for me, it's very easy. On the right twist, we're going to knit two together and leave the stitch on the left hand needle. Then we're going to knit one more stitch again, the first stitch again. Then we're going to take them both off the needle. So we're going to knit two together, leaving that stitch on the left hand needle. Then we're going to knit one, the first stitch again. Then we're going to remove it off the left hand needle. So then I'll just do that one more time. Let me get three stitches away. So we're going to knit two together. then knit one, then remove them both off the left hand needle. And let's take a look at it. So now we have done the right twist right here on this left hand side, the left twist right here and here, and then the slip three with the, um, it is called wrap three. And it's right here and right here and right here. So that's all the difficulty or complexity of the whole pattern is those three stitches. Everything else is either a knit or a purl. So it's really easy to accomplish this hat. So if you wanted to make this for gifts, it's a great idea to do for gifts. Now, um, that brings me to the question that I've heard a lot lately from people about how to make Christmas knitting easier. So if you wanted to make this capital hat and you wanted to make it for an easy Christmas gift, don't you think you could make it in chunky weight yarn? I haven't seen any pro projects on Ravelry using a thicker yarn, but I bet you, you could do it and it would look beautiful. All you have to do 
is go back to your chunky hats that are knits and pearls and ask yourself, how many stitches did I cast on for that pattern? So you will have a very good idea of what, how many stitches you need and how, the, how big your needles should be to make it work. Huh? <laughs> Pretty cool. Yes. So when I'm doing Christmas knitting and I have to wait till the last second or I'm just getting around to it, I like doing chunky yarn. It's a totally fantastic way to get the projects. Another thing that I like to do is when you're working on a project, complete the project before you go on to the next project. Because sometimes different designers write their patterns differently. And if you're going back and forth between different patterns, you may lose your place or you may get confused and accidentally start in the wrong spot, <laughs> which would be bad because it cuts down on the speed at which you can get your Christmas gifts done. So finishing one project at a time before you are doing the next Christmas present is a grand idea. It's a really, really good idea. And then don't forget, if you have a last minute gift and you can find a project like this capital hat and it's super easy, but it looks nice, those are the projects you should do. Don't pull out those cables that have cables everywhere and, and fingering white yarn and you're gonna do a scarf that's 60 inches long at the last minute because you will drive yourself crazy. <laughs> you don't wanna do that to yourself. And oh, I had one more idea that's good and I've done this many times. And that is use the magic loop method and maybe do two hats of the same pattern at the same time, maybe you choose two different colors and you do it for the same hat. Like I, a lot of people were making these for their family members and they're actually did two at a time. So that's an idea too. Since you're knitting the row across, it's not that much more work to go ahead and knit the second one and use that magic loop method. <laughs> Just a thought. I know some people say I'm crazy because I've done booties where I've lined them all up on my needles and I have done multiples at a time. Four, right? Four yes. Booties mm -hmm. Yeah. So I did two sets of booties for twins at the same time. But it made it really so they were exactly alike. It was totally fantastic. I loved it. I got done and went, this is grand. Because <laughs> it didn't take me that much longer, right, Jim? Mm -hmm. It was totally fantastic. Oh, several yeah. people said they're working on the Harmony Cow and the Knit Club. So. Oh, good. I hope you all are enjoying it. It was a great project and I love the yarn. Oh my gosh, that superwash merino is fantastic. Absolutely no itch next to your skin. Hence the cowl right around your neck because it won't bother your skin at all and it will keep you nice and warm. Yes. So for those of you out there that want to learn new skills and you don't know what I'm talking about, we have a knit club. It's called Kelly's Knit Club. And where can we find that, Jim? Um, we have links. It's on our. It's all on our website. But if they're so, they're watching us right now, they can how, go how to, to the website and just type Kelly's Knit Club. So you go to www.alpacadirect.com, uh -huh. and then down on the very bottom, does it say Knit Club? Um, no, it actually just type in the search. Oh, just type in the search bar, Knit Club, and then you can find it that way. But it's a great way. Every month, I try to add new skills to your project, so you're getting smarter and smarter. My goal for all of our Knit Club members is that they are teaching me stuff after a while. And so that is totally fantastic. And I, anyone who uses their brain and expands their knowledge about things, especially it, my love of knitting, I love learning something new. I just think it's so much fun. I love sharing it with you guys. So if you haven't seen that before, check it out because we do have lots of fun and create lovely projects and you get to learn a thing or two along the way. So that's totally fantastic. So let me look at the winner for this, um, uh, for this yarn. Okay, this is our Zabar Bowl Crazy. Oh yeah, you guys, you need to vote. Help me decide which color is good, the natural colorway or the anthracite or charcoal. You can call it charcoal. Whichever one you think that we, that our customers are the winner for next week would like best, um, we can send that out to them. Can you mention that those are natural colors too? Do you remember how those yes, colors? Yes, these ones are not dyed. Mm -hmm. These are natural colors, so. Oh. I love this yarn. Anyway, I love, uh, Peru does a fantastic job of, uh, well, they have a ton of alpacas there. 
And so they have make a lot of alpaca yarn and they know how to um, work with alpaca, which is kind of a tricky fiber to work with. So it's totally fantastic. So you guys let me know what we should send out next week to our prize winner. Should we have the natural or the charcoal colorway? And we'll get that sent out. Now let's take a look at a, the winner. So this one was is called Indigo and it's a uh, Zauber Ball Crazy by Shop of Wool. And let's see, it's Marilyn Robinson. Marilyn Robinson, congratulations. You won this wonderful Zauber Ball Crazy. And I think it would be a fantastic Alaska hat. So if you haven't knit that project before, take a look at it. And don't forget to contact us at customer service at Alpaca Direct, and we can get this out in the mail to you. So that I'm sure you'll enjoy this. I think you could make a couple Alaska hats from this because I have quite a bit left from my yarn. So I don't know. This is fantastic yarn. What I love about what um, Zauber Ball Crazy and Zauber Ball and all these, the Shuffle Wool company does with their color changes is their nice, smooth color changes and long color changes. So which makes this yarn, um, it makes it very useful for a lot more things. Sometimes uh, when they have little tiny color changes in some sock yarns, you can't really use it to make big projects because the stripes don't stripe out right. It kind of doesn't look as good. So this Zauber Ball Crazy by Shop of Wool is fantastic. And, where's it from? and um, I think it's from Germany, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah, it's from Germany. It's a great yarn. I like it. I've used it on many, many projects. <laughs> Matter of fact, a lot of times I go back to it more than I should. So I, I guess I'm I'm uh, get trouble for get stuck on certain yarns because I they're so useful, they're so handy that I just like using them. So do you see that colorway? It's beautiful. It's indigo, right? Yes, it's called indigo. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. Anyway, all right. So what I was thinking I would talk about next week is I was going to. Where is my summary here? Oh, it must not be on this page. This next week, I'm gonna be talking about, I have a cabled hat. Because today I was talking about using um, chunky weight yarns and quick Christmas gifts. I thought maybe I would release that pattern for the chunky hat and I have it almost knit and I will get that pattern written up so we can offer it for you next Tuesday. And I hope you guys have a great week and I will talk to you soon.